to my channel today we are going to continue with chapter 9 simple harmonic motion so in this video we are going to discuss 9.3 period of simple harmonic motion so period is a time for the vibrating object to make one complete cycle of vibration so here we have two types of object the first one is the simple pendulum and the second one is the spring mass oscillation okay so the period for a simple pendulum is equal to 2 pi third length over g where g is the gravitational acceleration 9.81 and for period for the spring is equal to t equals to 2 pi third m over k where k is a spring constant okay so let us look at exercise 4 a pendulum is suspended by the light string of the length 100 cm it is pulled aside so that the string swept through an angle of 10 degree with the vertical after it is released from the rest, determine the period of the oscillation. Okay, so period for the pendulum is equal to 2 pi third length over g. Okay, where the length here is equal to 100 cm, so I will convert into 1 meter and g is 9.81. So therefore, the period that we will get is equal to 2 seconds. Okay, B, find the speed of the board when it reaches the lowest. Okay, so when we reach us here what is the the speed of the board okay so initially it, at, it is at the maximum or at the amplitude okay so here we can use a uh, conservation of energy where initially there's a potential energy okay equals to mgh and finally when you reach the um, when you reach the lowest point it will all convert into kinetic energy Okay, so E initial equals to, so we want to find what is the value for H. Eh? So this is the H that we want to find. Okay, we know that this is the string 1 meter or 100 cm. So the total length is actually 1 meter. Okay, so we must find out the value of X first, where the angle here is 10 degree. Okay, so we can use cos 10 degree equals to X over 1 meter. Okay, so X you will get cos 10 degree is equals to 0.9848 meter okay so therefore h is equal to 1 minus 0.9848 so we will get 0.0152 meter okay so we substitute into here h is equal to 0.0152 and then square root okay so finally the answer we will get is 0.54 meter per second okay next we go to questions number two Okay, question number two is the particle of the mass 4 kg undergo simple harmonic motion. So this is the graph potential energy versus the displacement. They ask us to determine the period of the object. Okay, so for these questions, we know that this is the graph of potential energy. So where we know that potential energy when u maximum is equal to half m omega square a square and is equal to ten joule. Okay, so we substitute into the equation half m is 4 omega we don't know amplitude from here 0 0.2 but still in cm so we need to convert cm into meter square and it's equal to 10 joule okay so we can find the omega equals to 1118.034 radian per second okay so period Omega is equal to 2 pi over period. Period is equal to 2 pi over omega. So we substitute into the equation 1118.034. So finally, the period that we will get is equals to 5.62 times 10 to the power of negative 3 second. Question number 3. When a family of 4 with the mass of 200 kg step on into their car of 1200 kg, the car spring compress huh? so initially this is only the car after these four persons sit into their car so it will compress by 3 cm so what is the spring constant meaning that we have to find k of the car spring assumes that they act as a single spring okay so we know that uh, after these four persons sit into the car it will compress by 3 cm so what should we do is we can use f equals to kx huh? 
to find the value of spring constant where f here is the value of mg yeah, because this four person after sitting it will experience a, a gravitational force so f is equal to mg we substitute 200 g is 9.81 and k is the value that we want to find x is equal to 3 cm so it's 0 0.03 so therefore the spring constant is equal to 6.54 times 10 to the power of 4 newton per meter okay, b determine the period and the frequency of the car after hitting a bump assuming that soft absorber are pulled so that the car really oscillates up and down okay so now if it uh hitting a bump meaning that the whole car including the person it will go up and down so we want to find the period for the spring okay period for the spring is equal to 2 pi third m over k Okay, so where M here, because this M is including the car and also the floor person, we must plus 200 plus 1200 over K is 6.54 times 10 to the power of 4 Newton per meter. Okay, so the period that we will get is equal to 0 0.92 seconds. Next, we want to find the frequency. So frequency is equal to 1 over period. So 1 over 0 0.92, therefore we will get 1.09 Hz. Okay, last question, we will go to question number 4. Okay, a pendulum of the length 80 cm, okay, so meaning that the length here is equal to 0 0.8, is released on the earth's surface at an angle of 8 degree. So number 1, calculate the period of oscillation. So this is the pendulum. Okay, so period for the pendulum is equal to 2 pi square root length over g. Okay, so we substitute the length is equal to 80 cm or 0 0.8 and g is 9.81. So the period that we get is 1.79 seconds. Okay, B, calculate the speed and also accelerations of the pendulum when it passes through a lowest point. Yeah, lowest point meaning the x equals to 0. So as I mentioned last time, when uh, at equilibrium point, x equals to 0, v is equal to maximum and the acceleration is equal to 0. So acceleration at max x equals to 0 is equal to 0. v when x equals to 0 is maximum, Okay, where the equation for v maximum is equal to a omega. So amplitude here we can find 0 0.8 and the angle is 8 degree. So this is sine 8 degree equals to A over 0 0.8. So therefore the amplitude here is actually equals to 0 0.11 meter. Okay, so we substitute the amplitude 0 0.11 and omega is equal to 2 pi over T. So T we already found just now. So we substitute T 1.79. So finally V at lowest point is a v maximum equals to 0 0.39 meter per second okay so just now the amplitude the acceleration is equal to 0 meter per second square okay see if the same pendulum is brought to the mass okay with the different planets with the gravitational accelerations of 3.71 meter per second square would the period of oscillation remain the same increase or decrease okay so we know that the period is equal to 2 pi square root l over g meaning that the period is inversely proportional to g so what happens if let's say we bring to the mass where the g is lower okay so when g is lower the period will increase okay so we say g for the mass is smaller than g of the earth okay so therefore period of the mass is greater than the period of the earth okay so meaning that the t will increase okay so that's all for today thank you bye